يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يبقه قولي يا رب لك الحمد كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك وعظيم سلطانك Today's topic for fulfilling five salat a day My brothers and sisters it is indeed important for us to remind one and another to be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so I advise myself and you to be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be always conscious of the fact that everything we do everything we say we are answerable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we will definitely be returning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just like those before us who were wealthier and healthier more powerful more recognized have already returned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a similar way we too have to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we should prepare ourselves for that day you and I know that five ten times a day we are called in certain direction and the caller remind us because it is that prescription from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the caller to call out five times a day even though we know our duty towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there is no place on earth where our duty is known what is required of us is known and every single time we have to do it we are reminded again in a loud way it doesn't happen for, for anything besides salah the five daily prayers it is the only action the only work if I can call it although it's not actually work but it is the only action let's say or active worship where every single day every single day so many times a day we are called towards it have you ever thought why why repeat so many times enough to tell me once twice in my life and listen we need to pray five times a day and that's it and I am supposed to be human enough we get irritated if someone kept telling us every day we have to go out to go our work places our universities at 7 o'clock 2, 3, 4, 5 times repeatedly the azan twice we hear come to the prayer and twice we hear it again in what is known as the ikama just before the prayer come to the prayer was not it enough for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to just put it in the Quran wa aqimu salat wasn't it enough for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to just inform us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prescribed upon us five salat is in the hadith for example of Mu'az bin Jabal when he was sent to Yemen 
let them know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prescribed upon them five prayers every day and night. These are five in the cycle, but Allah says, no, we want you to call out for this prayer every single time. Wazin says, Hayya ala salat, that means come to the prayer, but we will hear immediately after that, Hayya ala fala, come to success. Every one of us, male and female, young and old, we are looking for success. There is no success beyond that which Allah has promised us. We can never be truly successful if we have disconnection from our five times daily prayer and evidence of it is manifest in the azan, in the call itself. We want success while we are going to show you step one and this is why the hadith says the first thing that a person will be asked in the hereafter is their salah. If the salah is proper in order, then inshallah everything else will be easy. And if the salah is not in order, then the rest of it, what do we, what do we accept, expect? It's going to be difficult and tough. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on us on that day. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for everyone for, of us. So, if we look at the call, it is bearing witness for us or against us. I called, did you come? The answer sometimes is no. And this is why when a blind man once asked <coughs> Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he asked the messenger, O Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I am a blind man and I find it difficult to come to the masjid. He gave many reasons and asked, should I am given an excuse? At the end of hadith, the Prophet asked him, Do you hear the call? Do you hear the azan? He said, Yes. Then Prophet said to him, You must have to come masjid for salah. That time, they don't have vehicles as well. They didn't mobile phone technology and other facilities. So if we hear it even by our mobiles, then we should manage time to come masjid. If we are near, then definitely we fall under the same category. Beside many of us do not fulfill five prayers and we expect success we want happiness, we want goodness, we want higher level in Jannah. Do we think it's fair? Even we are not fulfilling five prayers a day. Some of us unfortunately praying four times a day, some two, three salah a day. And some people only focus on Jumma Salah in a week. By this action, we should be worried because, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al Baqarah, Ya ayyuhalladina amanu dukulu fissil mikafa, wala tatabiu kutuati shaitan, innahu lakum adukum mubin. O you who believes 
inter perfectly in Islam by obeying all the rules and regulation of Islamic religion and not follow the footstep of shaitan verily he is to you a plain enemy it means we have to follow the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by 100% it should not by my own wish that where I am comfortable I follow till that which is dangerous act by us May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not make us from among those who are lazy in salah. It is an honor, something, something we should be proud of to be invited by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to put our head on the ground for Him who made us, for He who has absolute control of, of every aspect of our living and he whom we shall return to put our head on the ground. Take our times, we should say, O oh, you who created us, created us, you are the highest. Subhana Wabi Al A'la. It's amazing and honor take our time in sujood. Look we want to be close to the owner of the solution of our problems. We need to start off by fulfilling our five daily prayers. Sometimes we pray when it's convenient for us. Let me clear myself and you. The joy we will achieve when the, we fulfill that salat. When it is difficult for us, then it becomes really an ibadah that is worthwhile within our hearts. <coughs> One of the pillars of Islam is the five daily prayer. As we know, Islam based on five principles, five pillars. If we want success, short term, long term, in this world, in the next, we want contentment. We want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be pleased with us. We have to start off the stepping stone in Salat. According to one narration, Salat is the pillar of Deen Islam. If we are uplift it, we will uplift everything else. And if we drop it, means we have dropped our whole deen. And according to another narration, the difference between a believer, a believer and he who doesn't is actually salah. If we really want to be closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then we should pray five times a day regularly. Because he is the one who make us rich, who gives us good health, happiness in our lives, and real success in dunya and akhirah. We should encourage and remind each other to come masjid for salah and get reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, we are the luckiest people who are living in scuba and surrounding areas that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has gifted us beautiful clean masjid for salat with luxury facilities. Now it's mine and your duty to be regular in masjid for salat. Besides, we should have a look to poor countries where Muslim people don't have even clean water for wuzu, electric city, good building of masjid, but their masajid are full. We, alhamdulillah, have many facilities here, so we should be regular for our own success. 
we are the representative of Islam here. We should be an example for other people and motivate in good manners and give dawa for salah. When we get up and do wuzu in front of our children, they watch us and learn from us. If we are regular in masjid, inshallah, automatically our new generation, our kids will be on right path. If we are lazy in salah, then how can we pass message to our families and children of good deeds? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. On the day of judgment, there is hadith in Sayyid Bukhari narrated by Sayyidina Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu that there will be seven categories of people who shall be granted a special shade. One of them is whose heart is hanging and stuck in the masjid. If we are concerned about the next prayer immediately after fulfilling the current one, then we are heading in the right direction, inshallah. We will fall under those seven categories who will under the shadow of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this day a day of change in our lives. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this day a day of turning, a day of taking the salat more seriously from today than before. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless me and you and cause us to benefit from the salat. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala benefit you and me with the Quran and Sunnah of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to his straight path, protect us by his grace from the painful torment and accept the repentance of us. For he is the acceptor of rep repentance, the most merciful. وَآخِرُ الدَّعْوَانَ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Please forward for the rest of people.
ربنا واتنا ما وعدتنا على رسلك ولا تخزنا يوم القيامه انك لا تخلف الميعاد اللهم اني اسالك الجنه الفردوس اللهم اني اسالك علما نافعا ورزقا طيبا وعملا متقبلا اللهم اني اعوذ بك من عذاب القبر ومن عذاب جهنم ومن فتنه المحيا والممات ومن شر الفتنه المسيح الدجال اللهم رب اوزعني ان اشكر نعمتك الذي انعمت علي وعلى والدي وان اعمل صالحا ترضاه واصلح لي في ذريتي اني تبت اليك واني من المسلمين سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وصلاة 